uh welcome back everyone so continuing from the previous video we where we were creating the controller and services and defining the response template so we will continue from there and in this video what we will do is we will just try to integrate it with mock service so our objective is to have the end to end cycle of routes controller and then service so we are having the routes here we starting from the user routes here we have a two methods on a user controller list all and add all so if you just see the list all here we are making a call to the service service dot get and this get service i mean service is defined here and here we have method get so indirectly what we will do is in the service we will actually access the type rm repository and we'll make an api call i mean we'll make a method call to get the data to update the data save the data insert the data all these operations will happen here in the drive log because we will be just writing a sync await like uh, to get the data what we can just do is simply uh, we can just write a get repository dot user so here we can just say so i am mean just writing a type rm code which we will be writing in future so here this is a to be done okay for so now we can just return a mock array array is of type this if we are getting any error from this particular block because we will be accessing the user repository dot find all these queries will be triggering here and this is like a await block so if you just try to write this how it look like is first of all you have to get a user repo then you have to get a get repository for all and you will pass the user entity here once you get the user repository then you can just do await uh, user repo user repo dot find this method you can call await a user repo and uh, we can just find method on that and find as a criteria I mean I want all the results from there so you can return this particular thing which will give us the user array right so what this get repository is returning get repository will give us the user repo and then we can run the find method on top of it so this find method is available and it will just access the, this model and it will give us all the data inside this particular record okay if you see any problem with this then we'll just return we'll go to the error here either you can throw the promise or you can reject a promise right the return throw i mean you are returning an error so then in the controller it will directly go into the catch block here we have a dot then it's rejected so it will come here in the middleware and then it will be thrown to our main middleware service so we in the last video we created our middleware right so this middleware will be capturing that here we are already handling okay not found request or server ex exceptions are there then it is dealing with those kind of errors in the error middleware okay if you wanted to create another method which method is okay we wanted to add okay so this is about adding a new user to the system so we just we are just going to create this mock and then we will do the type rm integration with our system what it will return is it is going to return a promise of uh, you can say user entity because we are saving a single entity Okay, in this head. Now it's the same block. We are going to have a try catch. If we got any error, then we we'll just throw that. I mean, you can create a custom API error here and throw that. Here now, what we got is we are getting the user or object. Current, currently I will just put any so this is the argument you are passing here now from this we will be actually getting the repository and we will be just creating the object of the user so const user equal to ok and here I will be setting few attributes like created at id password and all these things I will just set few things from this data we are getting in the request so what I will do is data dot row. Consider that I'm getting it. Okay, 
I'm just saving it and then we can use the same methods these are actually type rm methods first you have to get repository of for the user and then user report dot create is a method and you just pass the user object so it will create an entity for us if we got any error like uh, we are not able to do it or something then we will get an error so await user repository user report dot save and create there are two methods we will just use save and user and we will just assign it to some new user you will say and we will return new user I mean you can just write a return there itself no need to do this if you are getting any error okay you are uh, writing something if you are inserting trying to insert a same user with same email id then we have to take care of all these kind of errors like uh, we might be getting some kind of particular error code here in this error object and then we can just throw custom api error so how it will look like is return promise dot reject and a new api error consider that i created a api error custom class and here i can just say user already exists or something and here you can also pass some error code I mean, this is just a standard way of doing it api error so okay i have the api error somewhere okay so this api error what it is it is nothing but it is extending uh, the class you can say the error, standard error class and it is just overriding few attributes and adding the error stack it we can just send a name and assets and error id so here we are sending the error id okay it's like 1001 now what will happen is at the upper layer on the controller we can capture okay if the error code is coming like this that means user is duplicate and we will be able to send a proper exception thrown and that will be handled okay this is the custom message i wanted to show to the user okay but before that here also you need to check because this will be the db error error dot particular attribute error id or something if that is matching with this criteria then only throw this particular error code then only reject the promise like this now in the controller layer in the controller layer we can handle it in the same way in the controller while adding the user we will be just checking it okay here we have error id is 211 right so this is error id if we are getting it like this then we will just do a next and api error and same we need to handle in the api error i mean we just need to create a switch case in this custom middleware which we have created or if error is an instance of api error okay if this is an instance then we can just say next api error and uh, we can just customize this middleware to handle this particular scenario and we can just pass the status code bad request i mean this will happen only with uh, some bad request is being passed right so response dot status bad request status code and here we can just say bad request status message Okay. status code is bad request status code okay this is fine so this is how we can handle the particular scenarios api error is thrown from the controller from the service service to controller controller will deal with this and controller will do the next so now this will be handled at the middleware level here we are doing next if there is some any other error error then just throw the server exception and this will also be handled at the middleware here we are also capturing the server exception and we are sending the status code 500 so it is good that we should create something like this so we don't need to write uh, the status code in the controllers for the failure scenarios here we can uh, take care of the not found status code bad request uh, exception internal server exception api error all these kind of exceptions can be tracked in the middleware okay so thanks everyone now we actually have created a basic setup which is like mvc model view controller routes uh, controller and service now what we need to start doing is we will just try to inject the mysql configurations and we will just create a service which will take care of creating a mysql database connection with all the arguments which we have in the environment variable 
uh, we have it somewhere here we already have a docker container so we'll uh, we'll in the, we'll create a mysql container and we'll connect from there so here in the services we can create a uh, one services database service and database service is nothing but it will take care of our database connection so we already have all the arguments so we just have a get connection methods create connections get arguments in the next video we will try to write it and we will see we will also do a retry so if database connection is failed because without database connection we bootstrapping the application doesn't mean doesn't make sense so we will keep retrying sometimes what happens is database is coming up and we keep in that case we should keep retrying and calling the same connect method uh, if your database connection is trapped okay so we will be using the create connection utility provided by typo rm so uh, i will just start writing it something import create connection from So here we'll use a create connection. I don't know why this TypeScript is not doing autofill for me. Let me just try to run the npm install here. Because when you do, this is the advantage. It will give you autofill and you will get everything. Here we can just create a Class database service, and here we can we will be writing a static methods public static uh, async because we have to wait for database connections to be established. Get connection. Okay, now we'll just do is return await database service dot get connection. Here we will create a, we will write this create connection method. Can I do this? Okay, and this is helping me. So create connection method and how it works is, I mean this is provided by type RM. So you, if you, if I just summarize it, return await and we have a create connection. Okay, now it's coming. So here we just need to provide all the configurations. If everything is good, so in this configuration means I will be passing all the attributes. Uh, I can just put the attributes here. Okay, I will be getting the DB config from somewhere like uh, import insert a DB config. Do I have constant environments? Okay, I need to write one config file that will take care. So db config here uh, we need to make it async method, async and entities. All the entities whatever you have in the system, you have to pass it here. Okay, if your connection is successful, right? So here if you find that your connection is established, means everything is fine. Otherwise, it's not necessary that you will get connected to your database in the first attempt. I mean. You, you don't have proper credential passed so in that case you will get an error handler and here now do retry we'll write that logic and here i am connected now we can just start the server and can hit start hitting the api so this is simple utility we are going to write here retry means we, we can just emit an event and that event being handled somewhere and that will just again do the create connection and again call the create connection method by passing the same argument maybe this time we are lucky and database is connected successfully okay so this we will write database service and database service uh, will be we will plug this database service with our uh, uh, express server start so whenever the express server start in the when the connection is established with the client we will just try to bootstrap the database connection and it will just do and retry uh, thanks everyone